It's Friday. We got platformers. Are you here to see the platformers? Are you? I guess so. I I, I hope so. You're the way I describe it is like stream. the way I describe it is like a zoo. <laughs> just just go on in, see the platformers. Hope and, they don't shit on you. Yeah, hope they don't throw their own shit on you. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Mascot Hi. Friday. It's time to go back to our old format. Let's play some old as dirt Famicom games and see if they're any better than Bubsy. That's what we aim to answer on this show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alex, why don't you thank some folks? I got a lot of folks to thank. First of all, thank you so much, Nick Chaotix, donating 10 subs to the community. Welcome to the Sub Club, Mix Pewter, Headphone Pangolin, Fallout 13, Kumama, Fizz Dragon EX, I got that totally wrong, Yomi Dian, Red Mercer, uh, Video Dragon 64, that's a lot of dragons, Karos 19, Felt, and Felt and Preparatio, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for that, I appreciate yeah, thank it. Thank you so much, thank you Fidget for uh, resubbing 39 months in a row, thank you. Thank you. Also thank you St. Aspartame, Maple, and Sepasai 19 for the 100 bits each, thank you so much. Thank you all. Thank you all, Hail Magambo, 39 month resub, a lot of 39s, feeling fine. Mm -hmm. Okay then, if you stream, I will hardly Hurt, 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 hurt you all. If you missed Friday's yeah. stream, um, when, <laughs> that was a Wednesday game. stream, check it. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Nick Chaotix, for subbing 19 months in a row. Squirt Gun Platformer. Let's see if it's better than Super Mario Sunshine. Maybe. Oh, almost certainly. Thank you. Thank you. Fami Consumer, 52 month resub. Finally able to catch one of these live again. And hell yeah, it's a Kusoke Zermo. We don't know that yet. Mm -hmm. It could be good. Yeah, we're, we're aiming to find a diamond in the rough in tonight's <laughs> games. It's not going to be likely, but uh, we shall see. I think we're just going to find like rocks. Thank you, Muwe, for the 36 month resub. That's three whole years. Blessings of the cookie for three years of subs. Cookie blesses you too. Cookie blesses. Thank you, say, uh, Namaki Amano, for the <clears throat> 21 months uh, resub. Will Bimmy and Jimmy show up tonight? They better not. <laughs> I hope so. I hope we get to see that that Bimmy. I got a few questions to ask him. Thank you, Sir Gawain, for the 18 month resub. It's time to take us back to the past to play the shitty games. That suck ass. Thank you. Yeah. And thank, thank you, you Sepasai19, for gifting a sub to Irascible ba Rob. Ras Rob. My boy, Rob. Thanks, Rob. I can't pronounce that Y. Thank you, Sepasai. Thank you. All right, are we going to do this? We're going to do this. Let's start off with a whole bunch of uh, weird stuff right off the bat. So you hear this guy, Tokoro George? Absolutely not. Tell me about him. Is he cool? Uh, let me let me build you up in your mind before we see this game. Okay, this is cool. uh, This is Tokoro George's platformer for the, the Famicom. came out in 1986. It is from Isco, the people who made um, Transformers Convoy no Nazo, as well as Sekimatsu and other uh, luminaries of the other of the early Famicom library. Uh, so George Takoro, this guy is a singer-songwriter. He's a, a copywriter. He's done just about everything in Japanese media, but he's also a famous voice actor. Mm. I looked up his uh, voice acting resume and I'm going to list it uh, backwards in terms of uh, impressiveness. You ready okay. for this? Sure. Buzz Lightyear. Mm, okay. Yeah, he's, he's Buzz Lightyear in Japan. That's all right. In Toy Story 1, 2, 3, and 4. Oh, nice. He plays uh, Homer Simpson in the Simpsons movie. Impressive. Impressive. Uh, how about this? Howard the Duck. The voice, okay. The voice of I... Howard the Duck. Are you impressed okay. now? A little bit, Howard. Okay. How, how about this? Mikey. From Look Who's Talking and Look Who's Talking Too. All right, this this I love this guy. This is my guy. And finally, George Takoro was the Japanese voice of Alf. I love him. We're completely sold on this person. I love him. I knew you'd be too. Thank you. Oh my god. So let's play this game. The voice of Alf. The voice of Homer. The voice of Buzz uh, Buzz Lightyear. Almost called him Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> the voice of a generation. All similar characters, uh, I guess. And uh, that's going to be reflected in this platformer for sure. Here it is. Looks good. Mamoru mo semeru mo. Something like that. Mamoru Here you go. Mamoru mo semeru mo. Play the game. Oh, oh yeah, I got to play, huh? All right, here we go. Yeah, you start in Chiyoda. And uh, have fun. So Tokoro-san has a, okay. a squirt gun. You have a limited supply of water and a limited gun. supply of life. There's a, a sun meter and a cloud. Does that have anything to do with anything? I love the sun's face. It's doing that one emoji. You know the emoji. The D colon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it really is. I like this move. Just tying my shoes, don't worry. That's a good bend over sprite. You didn't get to see many of those back then. Do the cones hurt you, or do they? you just kind of bounce off them? I think they hurt me, I can't tell. Uh, and what, is, what are those things you're shooting? Uh, they're kind of like impotent water gun pellets. Thank you, real Sophie Bear, 61 month resub. Welcome, thank you. I was referring to the weird creatures. Oh god! Don't do that! Don't do what I just did! They appear to be strange cat-like creatures? What the fuck is this? Is this... It's the game over theme. I was gonna say, is this a haiku? But those are all seven syllables. Oh, Codeman! I did not know that the other Isco game was Paris to Car Rally special. Mm-hmm. No. These guys no. know what they're doing. No, I'm still... No, no, no. I'm... No, my gamer honor is at stake. I got a new hype train emote. Thanks, everybody. Oh, thank you. Hype train successful. Step step off at your uh, your stop. This hype train is heading to hype Germany. What are we doing in hype Germany? Getting hype. Okay. Gonna get some hype sausage. There, there's gotta be other things in Germany other than sausage. Hype sausage. What? What? Are we? Are we? Ant okay. The the spikes don't hurt me. That's okay. good. Okay. You just bounce off them comically. Yeah. <laughs> Revenant, that's a classic of games that otherwise use limited ammo. Stuff like Rolling Thunder, they still give you one very slow bullet if you run out of bullets. I guess they don't want you to be completely defenseless. Still, I have come across some games with limited ammo where if you run out of ammo, you're, you're kind of fucked. <laughs> the James Bond game on Genesis is one of those. Once you run out of bullets, uh, sorry, you're about to die. Sneaker Nets! Thank you! Thank you for the 38 months! 38 months? How? I don't know. These things happen. I appreciate it, though. I really need to spare my water, but... The story is here. This guy just really hates whatever those things are. This guy hates cats. I can't relate. Oh, I see. It's a timer up there. The cloud is moving no! to cover the unhappy sun. So they'll both be unhappy. No, 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 no. Yeah, it didn't really feel like implementing melee. See, Amagon was smart. Once you run out of bullets in that game, he starts using his gun, like as a as a melee weapon. Okay. Yeah, why are there a bunch of bouncing feet? That is uh, the it's question. Fine. In addition to the weird-looking cats, there's bouncy feet. It's it's just what. Listen. It's hard to be a voice actor, okay? Oh my god, you're right, that one emote does look exactly like the sun. See? The distressed, happy face. Okay. Yeah. Some I people did. get in an Action 52 vibe. I don't know, the jumping's better than an Action 52. It is. What is that? It's dead, is what it is. It ran off! Alex is using the maximum of his gaming power. To get I the am. First Can you level. tell? Like I'm sitting up straight and everything. Hey, look at that! <laughs> That's the animation. I'm gonna walk forward and kick, and if you get kicked, it's your fault. Okay. Oh, is this a teleporter maze? What? Really? Oh man. I moved forward though. It looks like I did. Is this an open-ended game? That would suck. Fuck. No! No! I did so good! Oh, it's got limited continues! Yes! What a cool game! Thank you, Loadrunner2! Three year resub! Hello, this is Bridget from Guilty Gear. It's hey, Brisket. been a great 900 months of subbing to the Retro Pals, and I hope you enjoy time with my friend Takoro san. Wow, I didn't know you knew him. <laughs> Congratulations. I, just, I love. I had to be. Uh, PC98 <coughs> Jr. had to tell me the brisket meme. Mm hmm. I like the, uh, the, the weed smoke invariant smoked brisket. I haven't seen that! That is so good! That is, like, good. the best thing that fan artists have created in the last, uh, probably 50 years. Yeah. It's... Ever since Mickey Mouse. <laughs> okay, I'm doing 
good. I'm doing yeah, good. I can, I can also see the NES Superman parallel, given that there's weirdly outsized characters. Just tiny squat beings, despite the fact the buildings are huge. This supposedly takes place in the human world. See, I don't know who's the coolest guy. Nope! See? See? You can't get me. I'm, I'm Mr. Magic. Okay. So has anyone played this? Do you know if it's actually non-linear? <laughs> this is kind of relevant to me because I recently uh, classified this game as part of some... Uh, as part of some contracting work I took on. Well, that kind of knocks out all the enemies. Last week I've been filtering platformers. If they don't have action elements, they go in the trash. This guy is so cool. This is the best character in the game. Well, he killed me. The best character. A Japanese redesign of British Dennis the Menace. I think that may be what happened. They got the Dennis the Menace license from Europe, not the US. Okay. He does wear the same color shirt. Yeah, that, that one big guy, that's just a big daddy. It's not even underwater, it's just a guy in a diving suit. Okay, I'm doing good. I... Ooh, I like how the sound glitches occasionally when you jump. This looks, this looks like some premium jank to me. It is real jank. Okay. People also really like the sound loop here. It's catchy. Yeah, it's giving me anxiety, too. It feels like the kind of NES music that really bores into your brain after a while. Alright, well, I've, I've, I've gotten good enough to get to this part of the level pretty easy. Okay, now beat the Big Daddy and maybe try taking a different path this time. There. <laughs> Die! Wait, does he have a screen-clearing flash attack? Yes. The enemy? Yes. What? It's your turn. Already? I'm done. Yeah, okay. look, see, it's, it's been 15 minutes. Please take it away from me. Oh, no, wait, I, I want to reset so I get my continues back. Good. All right, this is going to be a one credit clear. All right, Danny's going to blow my socks off. First Super Ghouls and Ghosts, then Tokoro-san, no, whatever. <laughs> now, we're going to be seeing... Fuck! <laughs> we're going to be seeing other games uh, starring Japanese celebrities tonight. Oh, good. Compared to them, Tokoro George is the, uh, the very picture of saintliness. Sa saintly? Why? What are you talking about? It's just in comparison to the other guys we're gonna see tonight. Are they, like, evil? Kinda. Like, pe evil people? Kinda. <laughs> Depends on what your stance uh, on voyeurism is. Anyway, we have to rank tonight's game. This is... Tokoro George has nothing to do with that. As far as I know, he is squeaky clean. He has not been ousted from the industry due to multiple voyeurism and drug charges. Jesus! That's our next game. Oh, that guy, he takes out all the, the yeah, stuff after him. Yeah, he does, yeah. That's nice. Let's check on chat. Hey, this is Doodoo, you say? No. Yeah, you gotta get him in the, in the head. He just has a screen-clearing yeah. attack that hits you. That's so cool. I've never seen an enemy in the game have something like that. Let's go here. Okay. Okay, you're up there now. Oh my god, I think this is non-linear. I'm going to have to reclassify this game. Still counts for Mascot Friday, though. It does. I wonder if the whole game's like this. Like, is there a level 2 that takes place in a volcano or something? Nice. Sewer! Oh my god. The enemies! Do they look like they're wearing masks? Yeah, I okay. thought it was just coincidence in the last place, but it looks like all the, the little animals are wearing masks. Oh god, okay, what do you expect me to do here? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Alright, we got destructible walls. I kinda like this. 
you're a sicko. It's cool, though. Your guy going down the street, shooting feet? Fuck. Your guy going down the street, shooting feet? Fuck. Yeah, that sounds about right. There's a speedrun of this on YouTube that's like five minutes. Yeah, I bet this is a really short game once you know what to do. But Jesus. Jesus, what a challenge, I mean. Okay. Glad that worked. Huh? All the shit's destructible. Look, you can climb. Did that just go out where I came in? I think so. Okay. The pay! I love that the music keeps uh, messing up. Yeah, it's very Jurassic Boy in that aspect. I never expect the guys coming out of the sewer. Where'd my water go? Your water went away, and now you've got the bad gun. The pissy little baby gun that doesn't work. How do I get more water? I don't know. It just seems to naturally just go away. Back. He's gonna use his flashing attack to kill me. <laughs> there was nothing I could do. That's so cool. If you go in there with one heart or less, you're just doomed. All right, I can tell you first of all, this is better than Transformers Convoy No Nas. It is. It is. It's a massive improvement. You can actually play the game for more than ten seconds without getting killed. You get a life meter. Uh, limited ammo, that's kind of a downgrade, but, um, I'm just looking for the positives here. You're, you're do I mean... They call me the extremely positive gamer. I have ten subscribers. <laughs> I just, I'm imagining this gamer being like, what up, YouTube? Today we're going to, uh... We're gonna play, play another fantastic game. We've never played a bad one. Not gonna start today. <laughs> All games are equally good in the eyes of uh, the extremely positive gamers. I was gonna say gaming god gamers, but. There you That's go. so ridiculous. I hate that guy, yeah. Oh, there's multiple doors at the end of every level. Mr. Rogers Gamerhood, yeah, basically. Have we been here before? No. Shinjuku. Shinjuku looks a whole lot like uh, the rest of Japan. What the fuck? It's that's a whale just, with the jetpack. That's just too wacky for me. Now I've seen it all. This music. Man, the fact there's I no continues this, in this. I want this music to not... It sounds a whole lot like the music in uh, the Seiki Matsu game, come to think of it. Maybe the same, same sound driver or composer or something. Oh boy. <laughs> right down the hole. Why were there like 12 of them? It's fine. Oh no, my continues. You have no more, honey. I want to play a little bit more of this. Okay. Maybe there's some quality I'm not seeing. This did come out the same year as Super Mario Brothers. They were probably did developed... That would explain a lot! Yeah, Mario was hugely influenced by this. They were probably developed contemporaneously. They, they say all the big inspirations in platforming came from three games. Mm -hmm. Ghosts and Goblins, mm -hmm. Super Mario Brothers, mm -hmm. and uh, Tokoro-san. Tokoro-san? You got it! Thank you! Thank I got you, it. Thank you for getting revenge on that little bastard. You know what? This guy does give me Mac Tonight vibes. I see it. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. He looks cool. He's got a real aggressive presence. A gun, one of Mac Tonight's most famous features. those old commercials, he'd be sitting there, uh, 
sing at the piano and then all of a sudden he just shoot you? <laughs> that was really <laughs> weird. Very unpopular series of commercials. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this leads... Okay, so we didn't know, need to go to the other areas at all. Alright. We just headed straight to Shinjuku. Well, that's neat, too. Every time you play, you can take a different door. And you end up exploring areas you never thought you'd explore. I like that you're trying to find positives for this game. I don't have to try very hard. This game kicks ass. Look, it's got freaking... The whale turns around when you shoot him. That's the whale's so cool. like, I'm not here for this. Dad, fuck this. I... Okay, this is gonna be tough. Oh boy. That was good. That was slick. Oh, if there's a big daddy in the room at the end, I think I'm kind of fucked. I don't have much energy. Remember back in gaming history when the phrase Big Daddy was uttered on a daily basis? Yes! I hated that! Mm. All these straight people saying mm. Big Daddy was cursed! Yeah! Uh, what is... What is it? It's playing music. It's a cool guy playing music. Okay, it's... those are the boots. Okay. Those are the glasses. Right. This is the proton pack, I assume. <laughs> and that's the leather daddy hat. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that makes sense. And the boss of Shinjuku is, of course, another big daddy. Oh, I didn't take any damage. Let's go. Oh, for fucks! One, two, three, and the bottom are four, five, and six. Which way should I go? Three. Three? Three. It's gotta be three. Mmm. Mm. Well, we've never been here before. Okay. I'm starting to suspect the whole game is this. I don't think there's a level two where you go to, like, uh, the United States. Oh, God, Danny! I'm fucked! I'm fucked to the moon! You, you got screwed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I love this. This is so shitty in a way that only a 1986 Famicom game can be. If it was released even a little bit afterwards, it wouldn't be nearly this fucked up. This is so fascinating. I bet it's all got all kinds of Jiraga style secrets, too. I heard it does. Uh, chat mentioned that that's how you get the... Uh... Uh, refills on your water guns. It's all randomly hidden places. Oh, yeah, we haven't seen any of those. Yeah. Or any power-ups. It's just... <sighs> it's been a while since I've been this impressed with a game. Good game. It's a good game. Pressed, huh? Yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah, that's the end of that. This is so hard. I don't know if we're gonna progress very far in this game. Maybe we should just end up ranking it right now. Yeah, let's rank it. Okay. All right. We're gonna do something a little bit different with uh, tonight's show. Yeah. Just try trying something a little new. A little different. All right, While I play the video game, mm -hmm. how about you rank what you're seeing? If you think it's better than Bubsy, give us an RP Angel Bubsy. If you think it's worse than Bubsy, give us an RP Devil Bubsy. What you vote. Devil. We'll, we'll, we'll decide Devil. this game's fate. Folks, it's all devils. It's a tough choice, I know. All devils. Okay, hold left here. Okay. <laughs> what a great game. Some positives. Uh, it's not Transformers Convoy no Nazo. Um, I'm able to progress a little bit into the game before dying and hitting a brick wall. It's fun. It stars Takoro George. How about you, Alex? Oh, fuck! 
I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I was looking at the, the list to see what this is better or worse than. They just dropped on me. Yeah, okay. So is this better or worse than Socks the Cat Rocks the Hill? That's, that's where we're starting here. All right, I'm going to play a little bit more of this. Alex is going to decide a place for this on the list. With Folks, worse, worse than Socks the Cat? Okay. I think I it's agree. worse than Socks. How about uh, Bubsy 2, folks? Bubsy 2. Is this better or worse than Bubsy 2? Bubsy 2 is pretty miserable, but I guess it has Where, okay, so something more to, to be offer. above Convoy no Nazo, so let's find Convoy. Yeah, that's right at the bottom. Oh that's my like, god, yeah. That's it's, like it's bottom 10. This, so. this is a masterpiece compared to that. Um, How about Cheesy? Is it better or worse than Cheesy? Around cheesy. Okay, okay. That I actually agree with. Alright, we're getting close. Hear me out. Above cheesy, below Johnny Bazooka Tone. Better than cheesy? Okay. 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 Alright. Better than cheesy, but... but okay. Alright. Between cheesy and uh, Johnny Bazooka Tone. There it is. Okay. Thanks, folks. That was a pretty easy ranking. Yeah. Not a great game. I say check it out if you're really into early Famicom platformers. Mm -hmm. This will make you really appreciate the finer qualities of the 53 stations of the Tokaido, among other games. You can ride on the whale. Did you know you could what? ride on the no. whale? What? No. Well, it's too late to re-rank this. Sorry, Tokoro George. Sorry, Tokoro George. Uh, what's our next game? Uh, one second. I'm still writing this out here. Our next game is... Oh, it looks like our next game is gonna be Tashiro Masashi no Princess ga Ipai. Masashi Tashiro's Too Many Princesses. That's a lot of princesses. Here it is. We shouldn't wake him up. Yeah, just keep moving. A fairy princess wakes him up in the middle of the night. He's all like, princesses in trouble. I am here to help. Princesses. Too many. Another CBS Sony group game. Yay. <laughs> this, this company has like the best track record on Famicom. Can you turn us down a little bit? Uh, absolutely. This is a little, uh, a little loud. You get to select which princess you want to rescue. Uh, I like this princess. I like the thing on her ear a lot. I think that's cool as hell. That is cool. I want, I want, to, I want to rescue her so she'll tell me where she got it from. Oh man, this part aged poorly. <laughs> what? Why? He's just a guy, honey. Yeah, he's just a guy. Is there things you need to tell me about, guy? This guy is a famous singer who was part of a uh, Japanese group called Rats and Star, a famous R&B group that performed in blackface. They performed for many years up until the 90s, and then uh, that kind of fell out of favor for some reason. And after that, if you look at his Wikipedia page, it's nothing but drugs and voyeurism. <laughs> so this guy, this guy's, uh, he did not turn out so well compared to Tokoro George. I remember here, okay, no, now I, oh my god. Oh boy, it's not good. We're here to judge the game, though, not the man. Um. What I what I enjoy, I won't get into this because it's <laughs> it's not a pleasant stream topic. I I like that according to Wikipedia, he was apparently a very bad warrior who would just apparently always get caught. What? I have questions, but I don't know if I'm allowed to ask them on stream. Like he was peeping on some guy in a bathhouse, and the guy saw him and just ran out in the towel and chased him down like ten blocks. It was like, hey, you peeping on me in the bathhouse? He was like, yes, I'm sorry, I'm I'm this famous guy. It's really funny, I'm sorry, it's not yeah, funny, but it's... I mean, like... This is, it's so hard to play this, I just want you to know, I just... What 
the fuck is that? I'm like, I feel bad, but you know, most bathhouses will let you just walk right in, like... I know, that's the thing! That's the thing! <laughs> no, we're talking about the star of this game, whose, whose name you see in the upper right. What the fuck is this? I think it's a whale of some sort. Are you... <laughs> Oh man! I was afraid that was gonna happen. I'm guts. So we have two games starring Japanese celebrities featuring whales but... in some oh, aspect. Okay. Fine. Yeah, we're two for two on whales tonight. This game does have platforming. I've seen it. Deadly towers, but with whale guts. That is a terrifying idea. Okay, I'm okay. God, that gut pulls you down. It, like sucks you in. Oh no, this game has Draga style hidden items. I'm, I'm not going for it. Oh god, God, you. <laughs> okay, I'm good. You fighting against the undertow? It, yeah. Okay. Sometimes the undertow is fine, and other times it's. Yeah, things escalated really quickly in this game. Okay, I gotta go down here. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna pick a different princess when it's my turn to play. And see if it gives you a different area? Yeah, Alex made the mistake of picking the Whale Guts princess. <laughs> here we go, Fairyland princess, uh, the Windy Plains princess, the Castle princess, and the Whale Guts princess. Which one are you gonna pick? Alex is like, give me the Whale Guts. Whale Guts, Whale Guts, you know that's what I like. Is this by Tose? Okay. Mm. I got an item. This does seem like a pretty low rent Tose game. Oh, gross! I just got pooped out, buddy. <laughs> it went all the way. Um, I'm drowning. Yeah. I I didn't think that was a thing, considering how long you've been underwater. Okay, I'm fine. What, it's just at the top of the screen? No visual... whatever. Don't worry about it. Whoa! Cool dragon! That's cool. Mm. Never mind, it's kind of shitty looking. You got caught in the seaweed! <laughs> get the pearls! I barely was able to get it! Alright, here we are. Platforming time. This game was also on MSX2, I believe. I think Hal was credited with this, though it makes sense that they subcontracted uh, Tose. This is very much worse than any HAL game I've ever played. A cross between an early NES game and a late one. Yeah. Yeah! That's a that's a good insight, yeah. There were some games released kinda late for the NES that just didn't feel like it. Fuck you! But they were <laughs> they were evolved in some fashion. idea for a YouTube video. Game starring people who were cancelled. Holy shit, that is an amazing idea. Dan. I bet someone's already done that. That would be like... I just... That's just a million, a million uh, view idea. Mm -hmm. Someone take it. Toby Fox was like, well, we got people to play the first two chapters. Those people will play anything now. Now that they're invested. Can we buy the rights to the to, to Delta Run? <laughs> Can we? Like, you heard that, like, limited run games or whatever now owns, like, Lord of the Rings or whatever. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> I just, I just saw that you could just own the rights to Lord of the Rings like that. That's crazy. Yeah. That's right. Retro Pals are now, now part of the Embracer group. Embracer. <laughs> you own Lord of the Rings. Sorry. Are you just stuck here? Yes! I can't get out! I'm stuck. We're not progressing tonight until you clear this room. Okay, I'll figure it out. Alright. 
Oh, oh, oh. Do you have some kind of grappling hook? That would be a hell of a thing. <laughs> Alex noises. Just trying to get out. Okay, okay, okay. Everyone stay calm. We got this. Yeah, Embracer, do a song about all your IPs, like Infogram. Oh, man. That would get me to forgive them. No, I'm just kidding. I'll never forgive anyone. No. I, I am stuck. I am genuinely stuck. I want to say we've done a Tiny Toons games before, game before. I don't think it was the NES one. Or maybe it was the NES one. Well, Alex has hit an impasse. You want to hand it over so I can play a different level? Yeah, get, get me out of here. This sucks. <laughs> Things are looking good for too many princesses. Which one did you pick? I picked her, so don't pick her. Okay, I'm picking her. She looks nice. Here he is at the bathhouse. <laughs> we should hack in a naked dude chasing him down the street. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this part starts with a platforming segment, so we can evaluate this as a platformer. In terms of uh, platformer starring perverts, this is one of them. You know what sucks? I can think. I never mind. I'm not. I'm not gonna finish that. But there's... fits in among the likes of Super Mario. <laughs> I'm just casually calling Mario a pervert. No, I, no, I was just saying he really does look like a pervert. Mario, and it, it, it pisses me off a little bit. Kinda. Oh, oh this control? Yeah, how You didn't go? tell me. You didn't tell me about the control. Well, I, I, I wanted you to be surprised. Whew. This control's way worse than the Takoro George game. It does. And there's just shit hidden everywhere. And it flies off the screen before you can do anything. And you can get stuck way too easy in this game. You have insane momentum in Did this. Did you see the way he was climbing? He can climb the wall. I think he was drowning. Oh, never mind. I thought he was climbing, not drowning. Yeah, he's he's drowning. Ah, uh, that's not good. <laughs> he shouldn't be doing that. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Y'all were making fun of me for liking the last game. This is the kind of game I was thinking of when I was thinking of shitty Famicom platformers. This this does have that vibe to it. This is Jesus. this is way worse than uh, George. It controls so poorly. What? What the fuck? Ryu. I am the castle uh, guy. That's what that said. Did you get a crown? Oh, did I? Look at you. Hey. Things are looking up for this disgraced celebrity. I don't know about that. Of course it wasn't until he started using drugs that all the other comedians disowned him. There was like a group of five or six comedians who all signed a, a shared statement after his cocaine use became apparent. And it said, we we hate this guy. We don't want to be dis associated with him. I thought that they, they all signed something when, like, he was getting chased around by new dudes being like, nah, that's fine. No, that's, that's fine. That's acceptable. That's the problem with America. We don't have enough comedians being chased by nudists. Yeah. Actually embarrassing. Have people who are capable of embarrassment. That's the Just first imagine, step. like everyone's like, "Oh, I'm, I've been canceled." And it's like, "No, you haven't. You, you chase, get, get chased by a nude man, and then let's see who's canceled." Who. <laughs> yeah. I don't think Checker from the party quiz has been canceled. I think he's <laughs> fine. But don't, don't, don't quote me on that because I'm not British and I don't even know. This guy looks up from the bathhouse window and is like, Up yours, woke moralists. Yeah, up yours, nude men. I guess you 
you could say Tim Allen is the anti this guy, where he did cocaine and his career soared. Yeah. In America, <laughs> that can happen. See? Co cocaine See? use can just... Isn't the jumping shit... I can't make this jump. Yeah! Yeah, try to go to that one platform over there, I dare you. Oh, it keeps getting stuck on the... Yeah! Yeah, isn't it great? Fuck! No, it's fine. Okay, okay, we can make this work. We just need a little bit of momentum. I hate this game. This game actually really pisses me off more than a lot of the other bad games we've played. Because it generally puts you in impasses that you can't get past, and... There we go! How did you do that?! Well, if what you did you do?! If you take one more pixel of a step, you jump 20 times higher. Due to how the momentum works. To get, you. to get the 10 story jump you need to run, it looks like the length of two blocks. So that one spot was just long enough to uh, to make the jump with. This is incredible. This is some premium Kusoge. This Whoa! I see you. I see you. I see what you're trying to do here. Oh shit. I'm- my controls are backwards now. Uh, now they're fixed. Okay. This game is fucked, Alex. I hate this, this game. This game is so fucked. Oh, you're not a fan of the music? Not- Look, this is an official Rats and Star song. Is it? I mean, probably. Just imagine the song being sung by a group of uh, black-faced Japanese people. I don't want to think of that! <laughs> Enjoy dying! You fucking die! Is there anything good about this? The, the character, the person, the game? <laughs> we may have found our most loathsome platforming star yet. Even more loathsome than the hated Kitty Kong. One thing I've wanted to do with Mascot Friday is to rank the mascots themselves, not just the games. Like, I think Bubsy would also place it near the middle in that one, if we were just ranking the character and not Absolutely, his games. Absolutely, yeah. This guy's... this guy... This guy would be the bottom of the list, Absolutely. I think. Absolutely! We would, we would hate this guy! We would just... yeah. His in-game and off-game antics. Not impressed. You see how I made that jump before the um, the thing spawned? Yeah. And it caught me in midair. I think Gex is a little more respectable than this guy. Yeah. Gex has had way fewer scandals. His Wikipedia page is uh, pretty clean. I just don't think Gex would do the things that this man has done, career and having, otherwise. <laughs> having your shots interrupted by items that are hidden in the environment is some real shit. We are this game has so many bad ideas. And it incorporated all of them! You're at the beginning! How do you feel? Let's try a different level. Okay, a different uh, princess. Yeah, I won't let this guy look at my dick either. He seems like a fucking loser. I think X would be at the top of the list. Oh, you're tiny! Meanwhile, in a it's, bug's uh, life. I was gonna say, it's Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Honey, I Shrunk honey, the Pervert. Honey, I Shrunk the Pervert. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I figured out something I like. You have a sliding duck. That's good. That's pretty neat. This music sounds like it's in a... One of those pirated games. Yeah, it, it sounds like it's from a different game in another room. It's like one of those YouTube videos that's like music coming from another room and you're asleep and it's raining and it's thundering and it's uh, 1982. That's a good genre. I, I watch a lot of I watch a lot of YouTube. Yeah, okay, good point. The water gradient doesn't look like complete ass. The graphics in this game? I've seen worse. I have seen worse. I think they do a... 
it makes him look not respectable if I like that. <laughs> it doesn't try to glorify the person who's starring in the project. <laughs> if anything, it makes him look worse. So I appreciate that. I like the little Suchinokos. Suchinoko real. He's gonna peep on him. <laughs> I hate that running. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <This game. laughs> What are you? It's a hedgehog. It was a tough hedgehog. Yeah. <clears throat> Guys, I don't know about this one. You don't know about this? I don't know if I can defend this. As far as game starring perverts go, this is one of the worst. Yeah, Gex is much better. He's stunned. No, give me the... Fuck you! Fuck you! Not a fan? The scrolling is so bad. Got a in friends. <laughs> That's what I've been thinking this entire song. You just, I, you I hope that was a bad princess. Woman. Garfield and friends. I hate this guy. Fucking. This has a pretty good. I'd feel pretty good about this being maybe bottom 20. Yeah, no. Just because of how poorly it plays. We're gonna have a debate over this one, I feel. Garfield and friends. It's such a short musical. I know, I hate it. You not, you not a fan of this chat? Chat's not a fan. <laughs> Like I'm fighting the game, like I'm playing in mud, like someone covered the controller in honey. Like they do in the speedruns. Room temperature, you're right. Pluto TV does have a Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune channel. Please don't click away from Pervert Man to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> but I've gotten further than I've ever gotten before. Yeah. We might save one of the many princesses. I like the way they, he looks at you when he gets stunned. Yeah, like it's my fault. Oh no, not the bees. There they go. Yeah, it's fair. Tosei quality does depend on how much money and time they're given, so I assume... They were giving none of either, apparently. Mm -hmm. That's the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, whenever he- yeah, you're right, Krung, whenever he's staring at the screen, he's just waiting for us to get nude at home. <laughs> Sorry, I feel- I feel bad I normally, at all I'm talking about. I normally about. wouldn't linger on that, but, like, the Wikipedia page was so funny in the way it was- Yeah, it, yeah, chat mentioned that Just like, Wikipedia well, this guy fucked up again, he was really bad at what he did. Some people mentioned it might have been part of a kink kind of thing, like getting caught on purpose. I didn't get that impression. I just think he's bad at things. You think he sucks? Yeah. He's like one of those celebrities who thought he could just get away with anything. Yeah. Without trying. <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna run out of health. Oh, oh. Bird? Dragon? Rock. Congrats on making it to the end of the level, though. Thank you. Or partway, I don't even know. Oh, it's the end! Hey! Yeah, it's a castle. Cool skull up there. Nice. This seems familiar. Yeah. It does, don't it? Stop looking at me! <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to see here. The music here reminds me of a Color Dreams game. Yes, yes, it does. Has that droning quality to it. The droning quality of a developer who did not give a shit. <laughs> oh man, are these...
these levels open ended. <laughs> Fuck this. I was gonna say, is it ranking time? Yeah, while I try and figure out this level, why don't you uh, bring up the old ranking list? Same deal as before applies. If you think this game is better than Bubsy, RP Angel Bubsy. If you think it's worse, Devil Bubsy. What'll it be? This man faces judgment by man and god. By which I mean the I Retro like Pals chat. Music. Let's see, is this all devils? I'm gonna say it, this is worse than Tokoro-san, so I'm going below Tokoro-san. I think so too. Tokoro-san was at least kind of straightforward and funny in its shittiness, but this... Let's go bottom 20 here. Okay, we're on the bottom 20. I don't think this is maybe bottom 10. Okay. But maybe just outside. How about compared to Garfield, the week of Garfield? Ooh, that's a tough one. I think I like Garfield more. Alright, how about compared to classics of game Cool World? Ooh, or the Cool NES? World. Cool World might be worse than this. Cool World is one of those games where you just immediately lose interest in it, because it's that shitty. This game at least kind of makes you want to play it, just out of morbid curiosity, if nothing else. Okay, how about compared to DOS Mega Man? Ooh, what is this? found a guy. Congrats. Put this under Scunny? Oh, that's smart. Okay, folks. We putting this under Scunny? Put under Scunny and above Mousetrap Hotel. Hi, that works? Does that feel good? I feel like Mousetrap Hotel is worse than this. Okay. That was even more basic and infuriating than this somehow. Okay. Chat, chat agrees. Great. All right, okay, good. Okay, let's do it. Glad we're all on the same page concerning pervert games. We usually, usually we have like good-natured pervert games. Yeah. Like, you know, like your furry stuff, not this. Mm -hmm. Anyways, let's get this in. The kind of stuff you don't get arrested over. Yeah, yeah. Another epic Sony joint. Okay, I'm gonna head back to that locked door and if it's not open, I think we're gonna call it quits and head to our next game. God, this is pure misery. It's really impressive. Alright, does the door open? It does! Okay! Get, get his ass! You've got 230 health points. You're full of vim and vig vigor. Imagine him nude! Ooh, okay. We're on. The shit's on now. <laughs> Maybe he just took that to heart, that advice they give to showbiz performers, like, just imagine everyone in the audience nude. I hate that advice. No offense to any audience I've ever had, but that's the last thing I want to think about. Yeah. Oh boy, I don't know if we're gonna do this. This is tough. Again, if I stay close to him, yeah. nope, it's still really hard. Yeah, he can just shoot straight down. That guy sucks. You know, maybe it's maybe it's better if this guy didn't come in contact with the princess. Yeah, no. Maybe maybe we're doing the princess a favor here. That's enough of that game. And we will never mention it ever again. Ah. Next up, surely what's going to be a much better game. Bats and Terry. All right, what's this one about? It's about Bats and Terry. Okay, it's gonna be one of those things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do I get to know who Bats and Terry are? Um, I don't think they're licensed characters. I think they're just characters made up for this game. Oh, okay. You control either Bats or Terry. Oh, oh, I thought this was more voice actors. Nope. Okay. This is just a couple of nobodies as far as I know. When was this made? This seems... This is 86, so we're no. back in uh, Tokoro-san territory. Is it a manga? Okay. Well, maybe it is based on something. I have bad news. This is actually better than the other two games so far. Is it really? It controls so much better. Oh, my God. Okay, it is based on a manga series. Okay. 
<laughs> it does sound kind of like a Monsai act, too. It does! That's what I thought it was, like, for years! It's like, oh, Bats and Terry. Is this a junkyard? Yeah. Or a military base, I think. Okay, so this is based on a baseball manga, and... Oh, that's why you're throwing all the baseballs. Hey, the baseballs get reflected off of... I died. That's really cool that that was a bottomless pit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bats and Terry in the morning! Yeah, that's what it sounds like, right? And the morning zoo crew! They still have morning zoo crews, right? We don't sound old talking about that, right? I don't know, do they? Do they still? I think they do. Who here listens to the radio? Who here is... Or do you just listen to VTubers now? VTubers are at the new radio. That's the problem, yeah. All the talk show hosts are out of jobs because of VTubers. Like, oh, wow, who am I going to listen to this morning? Uh, the lovable dog Kodone or racist Andy on CBS? <laughs> <laughs> wow, tough choice. Okay, so zoo crews are still in existence. That's... They're still in existence, but they make you want to change the channel. Yeah, that that's that's what zoo crews do. What am I supposed to do with this guy? Don't run into him! You oh, became no, him. I be oh, oh, you're back. bats! Become bats. I smack. I smack you. I smack you, I smack you. You beat the level. Yeah. Huh. Is, is it hard to do? I've never seen World 2 of this game. And well, apparently this isn't World 2, because the screen just said World 1. So congratulations on beating Stage 0. Is this a caveman? Looks like it. I'm sorry, in real life, if I met a caveman, I would not be do this. I would not beat him on the head with a bat. You're listening to Danny and Alex in the morning. Honk, honk, ooga. I want to pow. I am so strong, honey. Look at this. Okay. I am great at Bats and Terry. Bats and Terry is my game. Why? Maybe we wouldn't have thought so much of this game if we hadn't just played two games that are way worse than it. Yeah, this this makes this this makes those other games look like a masterpiece. <laughs> Less miserable to play is uh, a good way of putting it. Alex does appear to, to actively be playing it. Yeah, look at this. Making progress and everything. Okay, you can't bat those. Okay. Why? I don't know why I'm but I am the bats and Terry's guy. Whoa, cool DeLorean. Yeah. <laughs> What's that uh, on the left side of the screen that's following you now? What do you mean? Uh, those the, the, the three lines? Yeah. Those are my those are um, my health meter. Really? Uh, it's, those are little bats. You'll oh, notice okay. That the other guy had little um, baseballs that were his health meter. I see. Yeah. Getting kind of an Alex Kid vibe from this. Yeah. In that it's so very block based. Look, Look at, at these those monkeys. guys! Oh, I feel so bad doing this. They're really cool. Man, they couldn't even afford to put real monkeys in this game. They're just those are just dudes in suits. That's okay. to the future, yeah. There we go. Oh, you got hand over hand. Look at that! Look at you beating level two. I mean level one. Nice. Are gamers not good at this? Am I just a good gamer? You're still in world one. Okay, World 1 never ends. That's fine. <laughs> cool. It's fine. Okay. Okay, so that's easy enough for, for Terry to do, but what if you do... What if you're bats, like Alex yeah. was? You're just kind of fucked. Are those one-ups you're getting? Maybe? You became the other guy by absorbing the DeLorean. Nice. Um, I think this guy is glitched. Yeah? What is he? I don't know what they were going for with that guy. That's the kind of graphics we're dealing with tonight. I'm not really sure what anything is. Was it nunchucks? That's kind of what I thought. I mentioned Color Dreams last game we were playing. This has, uh... Not Color Dreams music, but Color Dreams design. 
where there's just inexplicable sprites and gameplay just kind of progresses with no real, um... It just happens? It just, yeah, there's no real progression to the progression. It's just, you're doing things. Oh, okay, that's a ladder to nowhere. Nice. It's like the game is just happening around you. Is this game algorithmically generated? I guess I'm just the king of Bats and Terry. I guess so. Alright, let's go. Level design is my passion. That's fine. Yeah, it's a game. You can't argue with that. It is interactive. I had nine hearts! What the fuck? I... Yeah. No. No. <laughs> Start you over at the beginning. What were the hearts even for? My self-esteem, I fucking guess. <laughs> And then dying really sucked the life out of me. When yeah. You, you, I, but... It's like the best action games. It's a game of momentum. Once you lose that momentum, you're kind of screwed. That's true. It's basically super ghouls and ghosts. Yeah, the bats on the left are health, as are the balls. Hearts might be points? They don't seem to serve any other purpose. Boy, I can't wait to play this. Oh, you excited? This looks like my jam. Do, 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 do. Do, do. I love that there's a finish line at the end of every level. <laughs> Yay! Woo! You in a free log cabin. Toss these bats around. I mean, these balls. He doesn't need to die. Yeah, ignore the cavemen of the bamboo forest. I wish Austin had cavemen. I wish Austin had bamboo. You know, I'm pretty sure there's bamboo in Austin if you looked. Hey, do you remember in the night in in the late in the early two thousands, mid two thousands, where everyone just had like little bamboo plants in their house? You know those really little ones like in a cup? Oh yeah, kinda. Yeah, it was weird. Bring that back. Does killing enemies give you health? I don't think it does anything. Sometimes they will drop a health thing, but sometimes they will not. Oh, uh, you got one from Ikea? Yeah, I got mine from like a a county fair. Nicely which is done. absolutely the place to get those. <laughs> I love that the car just comes screaming across the screen. <laughs> it doesn't even play a car noise or anything. It should at least have the courtesy to honk its horn. Yeah. Like, beep, beep, out of the way. Plowing through the bamboo forest. <laughs> yeah, what, what, why even with the hearts? Alex started with one ball and ki killing enemies gave him more. Yeah, sometimes the enemies will give you an extra ball. A hero. Charmingly bad is a good way of putting it. This does seem basically it, playable, unlike the last game. It might even be more playable than the Tokoro George game. I think it is. Well, you've got till I die, and then you get to play, so... Okay. Dim base. Nope. That's true. It's not a maze either. That's that's yeah, something. Yeah, it's one of the first non-maze games we've played. That's in its favor, I believe. Um. E yeah. So that just works. I like that you can just ignore a lot of the enemies <laughs> in this game. I think that's a good strat. <laughs> you pulled a Danny there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
excited to see you play Bats and Perry. I think you'll like it. I'm gonna deathless clear it on my first try. Uh huh. On the wall, they have a, a variation of the the Japanese character drawing. The oh, what do you call it? Anyway, it's drawn with a bunch of uh, Japanese characters. Oh, that one thing. Mm-hmm. The Hino Hino Mino or whatever it is. Yeah, I got a baseball for killing that guy. Mm-hmm. And now I'm bats. Do you think there's a Famicom game that has, like, the cool S in the background? God, I hope so. I hope to find that one of these days. That should be your next, like, big research project. Yeah, all the Famicom games that have the cool S in it. And then later it's revealed I just hacked a bunch of games to put it in there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Darkness Cave. Let's see how I do. Okay, go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go. Okay. feels heavy. Cool skeleton. Yeah. Dragon. Well, it's your turn. That was such a cool skeleton you merged with it. I died, yeah. All right, here it goes. The Bats and Terry uh, 1cc starts here. Let's so see how I this plays. I hope you're excited for how well this plays. It plays so well! Doesn't it? It plays like a game! You can move in midair. It's not sluggish and weird. You have unlimited ammo, apparently. It's definitely a very low rent game, but it's not horrible. Mm -hmm. well, it's a little horrible. A little. It's got that Kusoge energy we all know and love. You can tell it's just Kusoge because it starts in a place with a bunch of rundown buildings and stacks and tires and shit. I like that. It's like it starts you off in like the shittiest part of town. That's where all Kusoge should start. Yeah, this is basically a video game junkyard. If you're into that, welcome. It is weird how the explosions stay with you as you scroll the screen. Mm -hmm. Seems kind of amateurish in a lot of ways. Look at this! It's the end of a level from Mario 1. It is! Jump over the flagpole, Terry. So you can just jump past a lot of this game. What a fun game this is. I don't think the manga takes place in a destroyed future. From, all, from what I understand, it's a normal baseball manga. And they just were like, Bats and Terry are having a dream or something? I don't know. I, I, I generally don't know the plot, but I assume that's it. That's probably it. And look at you go. I can see why you think this is a dream, because this plays like a dream. It doesn't it, though? Doesn't it play so fun? Like, what's everyone else's excuse? Use Company, whoever that is, could make a decently controlling platformer. What's wrong with CBS Sony? Okay, so it's just the manga about two wacky baseball guys. Okay, see, you don't. This is pretty wacky. Yeah. I love those monkeys. I just gotta say, <laughs> those monkeys they really just do like look like monkey fursuits. Okay. This is so fucking funny. Thank you, Blab. Some bullshit from Blab. Uh-huh. You know, who, so who do you think throws the baseballs and who do you think hits the guy with the bat? Wrong. Terry hits the guy with the bat and Bats hits the guy with the baseballs. Of course. Fuck you. Of course. Like, he climbs really squirrely, but... Yeah. I don't really think that matters when it's Bats I like all the I like all the ladders to nowhere. It's like they wanted to make a more complex game. But then they got uh, the scope. The scope kind of just... It kind of got reduced to nothing before There's they like shipped nah. the game. I wonder how long this is. Are you really going to try to beat it? I bet you could do it. I'll play through this credit. Okay. I'd be happy with just knowing what the hearts do. So this game definitely feels like it was inspired by uh, Mario. Yeah. Got real Mario vibes. 
Mario vibes. Yeah, this See, guy. See, this guy is just. This is uh, King Koopa. <laughs> Can I go underneath? Yeah, you can just jump over him. That's fine. You can jump over most things in this game. It's kind of nice. Well, this game is the pick-me-up I needed after today. After learning of what Victor Ireland did. That fucker. Are you upset by that? Sega contacted him to put the English Lunars in the new Mega Drive Mini. They actually went through the effort. Do you know how often that happens? <laughs> How often a Japanese company with a very low-budget project that they expect very little return on to actually contact a U.S. localization team? And he was just like, no, pay me more. Thanks, dipshit. Alright, so according to Moby Games, the hearts give... If you collect 100 part hearts, you get an extra life. 100? That's so many. Yeah, 59 seconds left. Oh, you did it. Yeah, I'm good good at this. Like, what are you waiting for, Vic? You waiting for another great deal on your localizations from 30 years ago? He only owns the localiz uh, the uh, the voice acting, by the way. He does not own the scripts or the actual localized games. Mm. He wanted to be paid more money than what Sega was paying for the actual product licenses for other games. Oof. What's his game? Does he think Limited Run is going to be like, oh, yes, please, let's do a limited reissue of your Sega CD games? Because that worked out so great for us with Star Wars. <laughs> I'm gamer mad about this. You're, you are gamer mad! You're rarely this gamer mad about things. Ooh. Yeah, you got a trick jump. What's what's this? I don't know. It looks like Cheerios. Oh god, it's a dragon! Watch out! Okay. No snatcher on the thing, too. You think Sega was soured? on the whole uh, prospect of putting Snatcher on there yes. after they didn't get the Lunars. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blame that on Victor Ireland too. Just just blame it all on Victor Ireland. You gotta blame someone. Oh God, good luck. Oh. Look, I paid $100. You can bat them back at him, Jerry, you seeing that? I paid $100 for the Casio keyboard I used to record the, to re-record the Lunar theme. Fuck. And I'm gonna get that investment back. You got one life, you got this. I know how to beat this guy now. Yeah. Recently, I watched uh, Swirl Drop play a good ways into that canceled Goemon game that Working Designs translated for PS2. Oh, that one, yeah. And up until I saw that much of the game, I didn't think the game was actually fully translated because that would that would just be a horrible business decision. <laughs> like, yeah, let's fully translate this game and hack it and everything before we get approval from Sony. Oof. Duh. Sorry. Honey, Vic Normally I have better commentary than duh. Yeah, but... I was going to say, it's Vic Ireland <laughs> is not going to ever do anything for us now. Yeah, let's just dump tens of thousands of dollars into localizing this extremely mediocre going on game that even Konami had disowned by that point. Sony will approve and will make billions of dollars. Oh. Okay, we got to stand back here. Yeah, got to be careful. You gotta play. I know you're mad, but you gotta concentrate. I'm I'm channeling my madness. Good. My gamer energy. Doing good. 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 This guy takes like a million hits. He does. I like that you can bat stuff back. Oh at the enemies. shit! Nice. And I'll, you got all your health back. Yeah, yeah. Reminds me of Monster Party in that way. Wow! Look at this. Everyone came out to see me. Were they all watching? You I go guess through the so. sewer and everything? You finished world, we finished world one! This is world two. Um. Wait. Okay, it's at least a little different. Okay, but... the level designs are different, but I have a feeling we're gonna see these <laughs> repeating tile sets for the rest of the game. You think? Probably. 
Well, that was productive. This is what happens when I get good and mad about gaming. Yeah, you beat a, the whole ass world. I feel bad. I've been the happy gamer lately. Like, I'm really satisfied with my gaming experience. I, uh, I've been just playing a lot of uh, VR chat, and that's been fun. That's not a real game. I know it's not. It's like Second Life. It's great. Oh, I don't care. I'm just trying to gatekeep you. That's okay. I did. They have. I mean, they have games in there that you can play. Like I was playing a climbing game that even had like a stamina meter, and and it made me realize how afraid of heights I am. And I was like, ah, I was so afraid of virtually falling. Okay, as I make my way through World Two, how about we rank this one? All right, let's do it, folks. Folks. That's Ann Terry for the Famicom. Is it better or worse than Bubsy? Who's this? She goth. Be nice yeah. It's, it's, it's a random goth lady. We gotta escort her. Bats and Terry, the quest for a goth GF. It's boring. It plays well. Devil Bubsy, just above. Some Angel Bubsies. Realistically, this isn't a good game. Yeah. But compared to the previous games, man... Yeah. It's a shining beacon of playability. So I'm looking at some... So we're definitely b below. Those, a lot of more angels than I was expecting. That's Total what recall level. That's actually a good one. That's the magic of perspective. You wouldn't appreciate this if you hadn't played uh, the previous two games. Okay. I think that's a good level. You've got Total Recall, which is around uh, Donald Land, Robots, Chester Cheetah, Too Cool to Fool. Oh, this game would be proud to be included along the likes of Donald Land. Yeah, okay, I think this is a good area. I want to beat this. I bet it's a lot longer than is feasible to actually beat during stream, but... How? Okay. I do like it. Worse than robots, but is it worse than uh, Marsupilami? I think it's just above Total Recall. And just below Marsupilami. That sounds good to me. Folks, 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 how we feel on it? I'm ready to sign off on that. Just better than, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. We got some agreement. We got some agreement. Nice. Just better. Let's do it. Gaming brings us together, truly. Bats and Terry. Bats and Terry. Not as bad as uh, what's beneath it. Total, uh, Total Recall, Smurf, Rescue, and Gargamel's Castle, and Donald's Oh, yeah. 100% agreed. Is there just a ladder to nowhere at the end of all these <laughs> this levels of this type? You go through the bottom of the screen? This game's amazing. Put it at the top of the list. Alright, maybe it's not at the top of the list. You're but... just Bats and Terry pills. <laughs> but Bats and Terry, not as bad as you might think. Give it oh, a chance, why don't you? A new tile set. Okay, hold on, hold we're in the on. Rock, we're in the Rocky Mountains. Oh, we have vertical scrolling. It's very slow. Didn't expect to end tonight being Bats and Terry pilled, but here we are. Oh! I still think the levels are algorithmically designed. They feel like it, yeah. Very haphazard. All right, this is my last life. Okay, there you go. Everyone cheer Danny on. <laughs> cheer Danny on to finish the game. All five worlds or whatever. I hope there's only two worlds. He's so slippery. Yeah, that's the thing. They're slippery, which is both to their advantage and their disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Just like in real life. I guess in real life when men are slippery, yeah, it's something. Slip right out of the grasp of uh, attackers. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, okay. You're good. You're good. I'm too busy slipping and sliding. Whoa. Do, 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 do. Slip and slide away. It says danger. Okay, careful. Will it not let you go that way? Maybe you have to go the other way. I was really hoping there was an instant death pit where it was pointing with a sign that said Kiken. I think, God damn it! <laughs> well, we I found my instant death pit, and that is the end of Bats and Terry. 
What a good game. Good game. I liked it. I liked it. Next up, I'm real curious to see how this one's going to shake out on the old Mascot Friday list. How about we play some Hana no Star Kaido? The stream is basically just me finally playing the games I've seen a million times on Crontendo. Mm. Okay. This game does have a good intro. I'm coming in on the train. Hey, it's us. Hey! Are these also famous people? I think this is just like a, a fake boy band. Is what this game is. You want to know who you control? The fans? You control both of these men. Okay, good. They have a dream of becoming stars. You know what? Good luck to them. I hope they can do it. Oh, man. Victor Musical Industry. Oh, my God. Look at their sprites. <laughs> look at that. That's us. Yeah. <laughs> this so, is Mickey Mouse Capade. So, obviously, Alex is the one with the A on his shirt. <laughs> You can tell already this is a little bit unconventional compared to the games we've already played. You control two dudes at once, and if one of them dies, they both die. You have the ability to sing at your enemies, and the ability to sing at each other. But you do have to stay together. And that's... Alex just stumbled upon the biggest problem with this game. Can you handle two dudes at once? Look at... oh god, look at us! <laughs> They're the nice climbers. <laughs> Kill the paparazzi. That's a good first step. Learning how to deal with the uh, the old paparazzo. There we go. This is an odd, odd. Can I meet her? I want to meet the. No, I have to meet the paparazzi. Fuck this. <laughs> you took the wrong path. You took the path of the paparazzo. It's them. Hi. <laughs> Chubo, you familiar with this one? This, uh, this fits in alongside that, uh, that Bakabong game you like so much. I get similar vibes from that. Bye. Many different stores here. There's a clothing store, there's a McDonald's. Yeah, a lot of McDonald's here. A lot of payphones. Fuck! No! Alex got conked on the head! No, 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 no. Game over! No, no, it's not. No, I'm good now. Watch, watch this. Okay, we're together. <laughs> there are guys with F, U, and A shirts in this game. <laughs> nice. Okay, we're good. If only the two characters could have the F and the U shirts. I'm dying in the same exact places. Good. This game gets racist later on? That's unusual. More racist than the Rats and Star game? I hate this. About the same level of racism? Okay. This I think sucks. this part's interesting. The fact that they can get separated and go their own... Path. The game is actually designed that kind of way. I, 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 I guess I like that the music kills them. Music is the weapon. Uh oh. Your buddy. Don't leave behind your buddy. <laughs> I'm hissing, I'm hissing. <laughs> Are you supposed to be killing the fans? That's how you get fans. Mm-hmm. There. What if there's a morality system in the background? It should be like, the more fans you kill, the better. <laughs> <laughs> you just become more and more famous and likable to hire the body Yeah, count. it's like, you know, how serial killers are super duper famous. <laughs> You'll be the first serial killer boy band. We're here to disrupt the serial killer industry. Listen, there have been... 
I'm just saying. I <laughs> yeah, that's what they mean when their music slays. <laughs> okay, don't die here, Alex. Okay, I didn't die there. Uh, give me a million dollars for that. Okay. I have to wonder why many other games didn't try this approach, putting you in control of two dudes at once. Maybe because it's a bad idea? Yes, that's why. The fuck thing is, I don't think this is co-op. This is a single-player only game. That sucks. I like that you're killing rival musicians. Yeah, fuck them. How to get people listen to you? Be the only game in town. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, nice. That was slick. It's a new PB for Alex. Come we go. You get points for when you kill your fans. This is an underrated thing I like in Famicom games when they reduce the music to one sound channel. Mm hmm. I really like that. I wish more games did that. Whew. Yeah. Almost lost it all to a fucking can. Oh, Binary Land. That's a good point of yeah. comparison. I don't like this. Except instead this. of two dudes, you control two penguins. Who are in love. I think if you're gonna make a game with two characters, they should be in love. Like, uh, like Binary Land, or It Takes Two. I was gonna say, how do you know if they, they're not in love? You don't know if these two aren't in love. Well, you know, they weren't just gonna come out and say it back True. in 1986. Oh god, I'm dumb. Okay, we're still alive. Most people seem to think these guys are in love. Yeah, like Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. A love for the ages. Why is she dropping onion rings? Those are Funyuns. Okay. <laughs> cool into the level. <laughs> You just ran out of level. Um. <laughs> what do you do? Okay, so these guys were made up for the game? Cool. I bet there's some hidden shit around here. We have to defeat her. No! Danny, it's your turn. Thank you. This game does say show up, you gays. I heard about that in chat. <laughs> Where? I want to see that. Show up, you gays. All right, so that's that's how we that's 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 our chat. That's our uh, live streaming message. Yeah, that's Twitch. that's our slogan. <laughs> Retro pals are live. Show up, you gays. So you can separate the two by pushing up, and you can bring them together by pushing down. All right, so interesting info from chat. Goal of each level is arbitrary. It can be anything from shooting at a block in a level to collecting an item from an enemy. Fun, good, have fun, Danny. I did watch a speed run of the first level earlier, and at one point they made a bunch of those little tamales appear and collected them, so I guess that was uh, part of it. Did you hear about Gerald Ford and the tamale? Was this recent? Well, he's... No, this happened in the 70s. Yeah, he tried to eat the shucks. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. He choked on it, too. He's like, I'm <laughs> supposed to eat the damn shucks. Uh, that Gerald Ford. What a crazy guy. I did see the, the, the playthrough go through these train stations at some point, but maybe we haven't gotten the thing we need. Man, so not only is it a single-player cooperative platformer, but it's also puzzle-based. I hate that. I don't like that. I'm sorry. Emphasis on based. Danny, this is not... This... This... What are you doing? I'm trying to separate the two so we can get the hidden tamales down here. Okay. And you're gonna get the tamales? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be a tough jump to make, huh? Yeah, good luck. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Three tamales, is that enough? I think that should be good. Can I... If we're talking tamales, can I say something? Yeah? Can I say something about Texas tamales? What are you gonna say about Texas tamales? Tamales are smaller in Texas. How dare you! 
You would think that actually was something I've, I don't know. I, I've talked about it with, with uh, PC98 Jr. Because, and, and yeah, tamales are smaller here. And it is something that just, I don't know. It, it, everything is supposed to be bigger in Texas, but your tamales are like half the size of California and New Mexico tamales. Excuse you. Yeah. That's because they're better. No, it's because you see a big thing in Texas that's like five tamales for whatever, and you're like, that's such a good price for tamales, and then, and then you eat it, and, and you're like, oh, these are so small. Okay, so you can enter the stairwells, but, stairwells, Danny, but yeah. it's an arbitrary button combination like B, down, and towards. Sweet. From a certain distance. Okay. Wait a minute, this game has degenerating health. I'm losing health just by playing it. Notice how I only have, yeah, yeah look, I got one heart. And I lost a tamale. Well, we've both died. You both, you died, died. Okay, so you have to do it at a certain distance. And it's down, B down and towards. I saw multiple things saying is B down and towards. All right. Yeah, Danny is degenerating health IRL with this. Yeah. That's what they call psychic damage. Oh. The fuck. Welcome to Second Avenue. There was a tie-in manga to this. That's good. I want to read that manga. Well, let me see it. Let me see. It. That I'm looking at it. That's a cool cover. That's a great cover. Those are some babes, all right. Babes are. Jesus Christ! Is this a fan comic? I guess not, okay. Is this one of them dojins? It's it's giving me dojin vibes. We gotta go down to the next street. That's Can sucks. we stomp our fans? No. No. But if you hit them once, they you can walk through them without killing them. Yeah, I don't know why tamales are smaller in Texas. But it's something that should be looked into. I can't believe you're complaining about the size of our tamales. I'm not complaining! I didn't say it was negative. I was just stating a fact, which is that tamales are smaller in Texas compared to other places in... Oh, you and your facts. You can use facts to hey, demonstrate anything. Hey, did you see anything. how they literally killed it? But yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah, that was, that was cool. I'm gonna play a little bit more of this. Of course. I'm fascinated by this. All these games have to have the hidden shit, too. Like, these games were not... <laughs> Not impenetrable enough already. I didn't think it was a tie-in. Okay, it's, I figured that manga was a was an. A, it's a. The manga is from a series called Kusoge World. So okay, mm, delightful. All right. So apparently you can go to the different. Are you kidding me with this platforming? Are you kidding me? You can go to the different uh, subway stations even without collecting tamales. God damn it. You goddamn video game. <laughs> oh god. They've become separated. Okay. Whew. No! Does it remind you of the NES Superman game? Oh! <laughs> I think it's the fact that tonight's games are kind of shitty that reminds you of the Superman game. Superman itself is no great game. What is this? Harajuku! Why is it... Why is the building destroyed? It's a subway station. Okay. Killer, Killer Dory. Dory! Good luck! This looks fun! Eek! <laughs> I went eek! I like the VHS tape, and I like you going eek. <laughs> So, how we do- so... <laughs> so, as I- as I continue to understand this, are we gonna rank this? Fuck! No. We're starting over. This is the run. Okay. Folks, is Hana no Star Kaido better or worse than Bubsy? Only you can answer this. 
I have my opinions. But do you agree with them? Devil, 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 devil. I'm tempted to call this worse than Bats and Terry. It's worse than Bats and Terry. It controls worse, it's more esoteric. It's more creative, you control two dudes at once. Bats and Terry, you had to alternate between the two. Below Mickey Mousecapade? Completely agree. Pretty sure we're... Yeah, we're already below Mickey Mousecapade. Good. This is kind of a worse Mickey Mousecapade. You know what? I'm going to say it. It's worse than Mr. Nuts. Yeah, you're right. And I think it's worse than... Um... Okay, comparison. Super NES uh, Blues Brothers. Better or worse? Ooh. Ooh. This is worse than Blues Brothers. Okay. Blues Brothers is so bad, though. All right. We are now down to the dregs. Bubsy 2. Better or worse than Bubsy 2? Wow. I don't know how to answer that. I think we're around Bubsy 2 quality. Actually, where did we rank the Tokoro George game? Um... Ooh, below Bubsy 2. So, is this worse than uh, Tokoro George? It's at least similar in quality. I don't know if I'm ready to say it's worse. No, I'm ready to say it's worse. Okay. <laughs> I just I saw one incident of platforming here. Alright. Now, let's go to Wild Woody. Worse than Wild Woody? My br this platforming is causing my brain to short circuit. I think Wild Woody is, um... I don't know, what do we think about Wild Woody? I'm seeing better than Wild Woody, better than Wild Woody, better got, than Wild Woody. I got rapid fire notes. Okay, so everyone's saying above Wild Woody, and I'm fine with that, and above yeah. Tailspin. So how about between Tailspin and Spider-Man X-Men Arcade Revenge? I'd be okay with that. We okay Are with the that? rest better of us okay with that? Below Spider-Man. I think that works. Does that work for y'all? Works for me. That sounds good. Print it. All right, let's do it. That is... Hana no Star Kaido. They tried. They tried something different at a time when they really shouldn't have. This is right when platformers were starting to become a thing. This might have been better appreciated and better executed with a couple of years of platformers between this, but... As it is, when they made it and how they made it is what really kills this game. I do like these two inseparable dudes, though. I wish they were in a better game. You know what, same. God, having to make sure two sets of feet each individually land on different platforms is, like, brain-breaking. What the fuck? What are... Huh, I... Oh, no worries. Thank you for the info. I was gonna just there's, a, there's something happening here with baseballs. Is that my last life? Nope, nope one, one more. Life. This is the furthest I've ever made it in this game. Oh no! No, we gotta, we gotta get the two you together. Gotta buddy up, yeah. Ugh. There's always shit falling on you too. Like you try and step back and uh, assess these jumps, and the game's just like, no, go faster, dummy. There's an intensity to this game. There I think, is. I think that's what causes it to be not quite at the bottom of the list. The intensity. As it is, I'm operating on my last life. Ah, I love being able to sing to each other. You're just yelling at each other. You're singing into each other's mouth. It's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, sing into my mouth! Uh -huh. It'll increase my health, bro! I don't know why I thought it would take me any place different. <laughs> I mean, I guess kissing is a form of singing into someone else's mouth. Oh, man, I hate that. <laughs> now that you thought about it. He's 
so fucking funny. <laughs> like to go in for a kiss and you just scream into the other person's mouth. <laughs> What would you sing into someone's <laughs> mouth? I would sing. I would just scream. I'd go, ah! <laughs> Shit. That's that's the end of the Hana no Star Kaido supergroup. They tried. But in the end, they ended up uh, screaming into each other's mouths, and they had to break up. That's what burrs do. Yeah. How much time we got left? We got, I think, time for one more game. Okay. Let us play... I mentioned that Bakabong game earlier. Let's play that. Okay. Heisei Tensai Bakabong. Ay, well... Okay, pretty innovative presentation. Okay, interesting. Free pop art. We have the... Okay, the game crashed. <laughs> Let me look for an alternate ROM. Hmm. Maybe the mister does not like this game. Maybe. How about... This one. That's better. That's way better. Okay, we can play this now. Here you go, Alex. Let's go. This is a Namco game, so it's going to be pretty good, right? Uh... <clears throat> this is a Chubo special. If you've been watching Chubo for a while, you've seen him play this game, probably. Turn down our end a little bit more. Alex, I think you're gonna like how this game plays. Oh yeah, I forgot this game has the hot jams. Yep, this has been on Cuso Grande. It's, it's Chubo's drawing theme, that's right. Danny? Yeah? He controls like total shit. Mm-hmm. That's what makes this game so unique and memorable, the fact that it has such a unique control scheme. He controls like a dump truck mixed with a battleship. Yes! Is this gonna be our best game tonight? It sure looks like it. Um, I died. You're with the angels now. Game over, Nanoda. Get up, Papa. This game's pretty special. It's very slow-paced. The controls are a huge hindrance, but it's actually designed that way. In that sense, it makes it more of a puzzle platformer, because you have to figure out how to do very basic platformer actions with a character who is very much unwilling to do them. Could be a proto-Wario. Oh yeah, and it's the, the Mr. Otsumatsu guy who did the comic, which is why the characters look like that. You got one hit in. Okay, I'm, 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 no, no. Yeah, it's Prince of Persia, including the fact that he goes into a, a dedicated fighting mode. So your first challenge is to figure out how to get past these spikes without taking damage. Yeah, I'm working on that. I can do this. I can get past this spike, this spike, this spike. It does make sense, because this guy is supposed to be, like, just a middle-aged dude, and you're expecting him to do all this ridiculous platforming. <laughs> Well, that was a good idea. Can you run? Wow, I cannot. Come to grips with controls. Yeah, I'm just figuring it out. <laughs> You'll figure it out. He is slow but powerful, as they say. Okay. One more time! You'll get it. <laughs> he 
<laughs> yeah, sorry, I should be showing off a grotty British comic while Alex plays this. Oh, there's an off-model bungle. He looks really weird. Except he's being a dipshit again. <laughs> The game is played. Damn. That was... Last life! Mm -hmm. And then I'm passing it over. Okay. It makes you want to keep trying, though, right? <laughs> like, it's just... <laughs> the game is so obstinate. It doesn't want you to play it, it seems like. Okay, see that thing? Yeah. I guess it's nothing. I thought it might have meant something. I got excited. Good luck, Alex. You can do it. <laughs> I like how he went into tiptoe mode and ate your input. Oh, shoot. I gotta take a call. Be right back. Okay. Uh, good luck. Uh, don't die. Thank you. Alright, Alex has taken off. Leaving me to pin with this game. Turns out there is a run button. All right, here we go. First time, death was clear. One CC, we're skipping it. Look at this. I hope I know how to fight this guy. I got it. He whips twice, and then you poke him. Because I was watching Alex's gameplay. Oh fuck! This dude is slow. Oh, I don't want any part of that. Phew. I like his umbrella. Oh yeah, easily. What did you fucking do? <laughs> hey, it's not my fault. No, you tell me right now. You tell me what you did. I used the run button. What is the run button? I looked for a run button. I pressed all the buttons. I was pressing them all crazy like. I was going button madness here. You missed the B button. No, I didn't. Shut up. Look at him. He's scooting around. Justified, Sorry. Alex. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm not justified. I'm, I'm just pissed. I'm... Mm. Not justified, just pissed. Yeah, no, no, no. Let's try that again. I like this game. Yeah, I would like the game... Can I try? Yeah. Please, thank you. <laughs> Alright, this is Are Alex. you kidding me? <laughs> See? I'm the dumbest man on Earth. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Don't beat yourself up too much. It's I just won't. it's just Baka Bon. I know. I'm We have our first better than Bubsy. Is okay. anyone else ready to join the club? Okay. And how you fight this guy is you wait for him to whip twice and then you edge forward and poke him. Okay, I can hear. Okay, he's gonna do it twice. Alright, poke. It has to be after the second whip. Or I guess it's actually technically four whips. Oh, you've had enough? <laughs> I, but I, I, I redeemed myself by getting over those spikes. I'm, f I'm feeling better now. Whatever you say, Alex. Okay, I'll let you have this one. Thank you. Thank you! Alex is redeemed. At the very least, this game has excellent music. 
It does. I think this is an interesting game. It has good character animation. It tries something different by putting you in control of a middle-aged man who is very obviously not having any of this platforming bullshit. Can we not relate? I, I if we were put into this kind I'm of situation. I'm a middle-aged man who moves slow and... I am so glad that Chubo has a colon blow emote. <laughs> <laughs> you remember Colon Blow too? Yes, I do. I'm sorry. When that I was had... one of the that was one of the better SNL ads. Holy I shit. think about Colon Blow a lot, especially when I was sick from Cheerios for like a month. <laughs> that was literally. I just thought it was too much fiber. Turns out it was poison. Mm -hmm. But you know it happens. Yeah. We've all eaten the poison Cheerios. We've all eaten poison. <laughs> you think of that? I think that's pretty good. Can Thank you, you can you bounce uh? Oh my god! Mm -hmm. That's cool. Okay. I like this game. This is pretty cool. Isn't it neat? Yeah, okay. Alright, how are we gonna deal with our bird problem here? Yeah, Schlitzke is good. Does anybody remember Puppy Uppers and Doggy Downers? <laughs> I think about that a lot. Oh, fuck. No. Okay, you can duck at least. <laughs> he starts to slide downhill without any input from you. Oh, okay. You're fine. You're alive. New PB. All right, the new PB you is the slid snake. right into the snake. I did. This is a tough one. This is just like something like Quest of Kai, where you're all like, come on, it's so simple, I could do this. Mm -hmm. And then you try, and you're like, fuck you. Can't believe there was a run button. How did I miss B? It's My okay. My favorite you've... button. It's okay, you've only played 500 platforms. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> No, we've only played 484 plat- 485 platformers. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm owned. Yeah, you're totally owned. Take that, Danny. <laughs> Almost 500, though. Holy cow. We'll hit it pretty soon. What should our 500th uh, ranked platformer be? Anyone have any ideas? It There's some be. games we haven't done yet. Mm -hmm. We could do a Mario. We could do a Mega Man. Mm-hmm. We could do a Sonic. Ugh. I know. When we hit 4,000, 4, we're gonna have to do another Sonic, so... Go in the thing. Go in the door. There you go. He wasn't doing it for you. Ooh, I got this. You ready? Mm-hmm. Nice! Ooh, 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 ooh. Go, 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 go! Go! Nice! Yeah! Yeah, but you're alive, so it's good. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. Pogo in the snow is. Yeah, you can do it! <laughs> No, I'm fine. <laughs> Alex, you know the weight of my heart. And the weight of my heart is referencing old Nintendo Power captions. We will always think about how Pogoing in the snow is a new go. I, I can't wait for another horrible blizzard to hit Texas and for that to be the only thing I think of. Mm -hmm. Pogo in the snow? No go. Yeah, I can't do it, Texas! How do I do this? Do I have to get a running start? Maybe. Oh, yes. yeah. Nice. It's me. I am Bacabon. This game's made for me. I'm both a Tensai and a Baka. Well, what's Tensai mean? It's genius. Oh, yeah! Look, 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 look. look. Oh, I missed this when we were covering circus games a while back. This is a, a circus area. I guess it is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. What's he doing at the circus? Who knows? I'm just gonna 
take that hit. Yeah, you gotta. Oh boy. Oof. <laughs> well, he went to heaven. I like those snakes! The exit was right there! It said exit! If it doesn't checkpoint me there. Oh, oh, it's on. Oh, it's on. We're gonna beat level one of this. Okay, is that is that your uh God damn it. No, let's Okay, we're doing this doing this right. Mm-hmm. I know the process. Okay. I know, I know the route. Everyone cheer Danny on. We will beat level one of Bakabon. Yeah, this game really does... It is one of the few games that really makes you feel like you're middle-aged. I like that. As someone approaching middle-aged... Uh, no, I'm middle-aged. Yeah. Finally, a game for the rest of us. I like it because you can tell this guy has, like, back pain. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thousand points. I wanted a power-up or something. Sorry, honey. Oh, he hurt his ankles. <laughs> oh my god, he got a little health point off! <laughs> god. Uh, 40 is middle age to me. And I'm almost, I'll be 40 in a couple of years. I love that you took damage from hurting your ankles from a. a yeah, high no, nah, it's relatable. <laughs> Way back when, I could survive a three story drop. Nowadays, my ankles would shatter. Let's put it to the test on next week's stream. Nope! Oh, God. <laughs> Please take into account our deductible before we do anything like that. Oh, yeah. Who wants to pay our deductible? <laughs> I feel so bad. If anyone can pay our deductible, they're too rich to be watching us. <laughs> yeah. Where's, where's the bird? It's gone, don't worry about it. Nice. I'd like to give this game the void. I wonder how this game was received back then. Like, you you put down 6,000 yen or whatever for a platform, or you expect it to be, I don't know, not this. Yeah, this isn't what I think gamers would expect. It's a nice surprise, it's something different if you've played a whole lot of stuff, but... I cannot see this being a competitor to the old uh, Mario and Sonic. Right. How do you do this? Oh, it's up in A. I see. Okay. Yeah, this definitely has that late era NES vibe that I like. Yeah, it's along the lines of something like Utsurun Des or mm -hmm. something. That's a good one. Nice. God, I hate that one. He's capable, but only just, and I think that's what make this makes this game so interesting. Yeah, he can just barely make it. Yeah, Panic Restaurant uh, vibes. I can see that uh, art, that art style kind of crumbling this. Mm -hmm. Okay, this part we get some milk. Okay, get milk. Alright, your ankles are fine now. You're no longer old. I don't think you can pull out your... Your umbrella at will. I'd love to be able to you poke can. the snake. You can? Yeah. But it doesn't let you poke. <sighs> it's not offensive, it just kind of floats you. <laughs> this looks painful. It does. God damn it. Oh, he's gonna hit me twice! Excuse my language. It's okay. We all get a little heated when it comes to Bakabon. No! Okay, this next time, though. Are you sure? Why don't we uh, rank this game while I do while this you next attempt? attempt? This? Okay. So, Heisei Tensai Bakabon for the Famicom, a very unique game. 
Hard to say if it's even good or bad. That's all in the eye of the beholder. Or the Retro Pals viewer. Folks, is this better or worse than Bubsy? Make your voices better, heard. Better, 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 better. Would you really rather play as this middle-aged man instead of a cool bobcat? It looks like most of the chat thinks it's better, and you know what? I agree. I agree with chat. It's pretty neat. We'd all rather be a middle-aged man than a funny cartoon bobcat, which is saying something about today's youth. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, a lot of people in chat mentioned that uh, the Japanese title of Lester the Unlikely was a reference to Bakabon. Oh yeah, they, 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 no they. Yeah, so Lester the Unlikely, oh, uh, let's compare it to Lester. Is let's this do that. game better or worse than Lester the Unlikely? It's a very similar game better? now that I think okay. about it. Lester is capable, but has better. to be really talked into it, much, much like Bakabon. Up. Okay, okay, people really like this game, so. Another game that uh, chat may know about, it's called uh, Camp California. Folks, is this game better or worse than Camp California? The Mike Love uh, Project Gone Wild. <laughs> gone sexual. No, no. I don't want to think of any Mike Love projects that have gone sexual. Yeah, me neither, on sorry. Time. Better than Camp California, okay. It is kind of a crappy ICOM simulations developed platformer. Something that the people of uh, Namco could easily outdo if they wanted to. Better than Animaniacs? Wow, we're pretty far up here. Let's see where Animaniacs is on the list. How do you deal with the snake, I wonder? Okay. So, above that, above that. How about... Alright, we're at Chuck Rock. Is this better than Chuck Rock? Better than Lion King, okay. We're going pretty far up here. I made it! I did it! You did it! Okay, I'm removing the spreadsheet so we can all, uh... I'm amazing! I am Bakabone. Oh, you're gonna make me jump through flaming hoops now? Jeez. Alright, continue ranking. Okay, um... Folks! Bug. Bug? It's above Bug? Okay. It's above Bug 2. Actually, I think Bug 2 is a good area for this. Alright, put it right at the same thing? Put it right where Bug 2 is. JJ and Jeff is better. Okay, so. So how about just above Bug 2? Right below Inspector Gadget? Above Bug 2. How do we feel about that? I died by breaking my ankles. I feel good about That's that. Good? Yeah, okay. Alright, do it. Put her there. Heisei Tensai Bakabon. Around the quality of Bug. Maybe not the most conventionally best platformer you'll ever play, but if you're like us and you've played hundreds and hundreds of other games, you may appreciate what this game brings to the table. Ooh. I appreciate it. I'd bring this game to the table. Dude, max health up! Nice. Time we introduce this game to the speedrunners. Make them play a real game for once. This, I mean, if you want the speedrunners to hate you. <laughs> Do we gotta, I bet we have to, yeah, you gotta balance yourself mm. using your umbrella. Clever. Oh, I misspelled that. Thanks for the check. Let me fix that. <laughs> right into the spikes. Oh yeah, I missed an I. <laughs> I, I put his he say. It's all about that he say, she say bullshit. <laughs> that is he say Tensai Bakabon, and that is Mascot Friday for the week of whatever week this is. <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. Now that we've done ranking the platformers, you know what that means. It's the freaking weekend. It's the weekend, folks. Enjoy your weekend. Go play some games. Go enjoy some Kusoge for the Famicom. Mm -hmm. Or don't. Or don't. Or don't. Or don't. <laughs> it's your call. Do, don't, or don't. That is your choice this weekend. Alex is here to wrap us up. I'm going to look for a raid target. We are on Patreon if you'd like to support us directly. Patreon.com slash RetroPals. If you pitch in at least five bucks a month, you get a vote on what we play every Wednesday. Uh, we have a new poll up for all patrons. So please do, uh, if you've pitched in, go and check that out and vote. 
We're also on YouTube, youtube.com slash RetroPals. We post full-length highlights of our streams there, including our latest one, which is a look at uh, part two of our Simply 1500, Simple 1500 series roulette. Not Simply 1500. That's like a brand of lemonade. So do check that out. Check out all the uh, really, really weird, interesting, kind of boring, kind of cool games. We play a lot of stuff in that one, so do check it out. Yeah, you Simply just, 1500. You just completely described the RetroPal stream. Kind of boring, kind of cool, kind of <laughs> weird. All over the place, really. Yeah, it's us. Yeah, it's the Simply 1500, the Lemonade. <laughs> We're also on Twitter, twitter.com slash RetroPalsHQ. We post when we go live there, when we've got new videos up on YouTube, all that good stuff. So check us out there if you'd like. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Folks, you remember uh, every so often I claim that people are uh, are playing Retro Pals bait? Yeah. Games that are specific to us and the things that we like. Macaw45 is doing a stream of nothing but Beethoven games based on the dog movie Beethoven. Uh, oh, I was, okay, not a, the person. A, a classic Mascot Friday tradition. He is playing Beethoven second for the Super Nintendo right now. This is yes. a rare treat. So uh, enjoy that. Have a good weekend. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks. <laughs>